Longline fishing, or longlining, is a commercial fishing angling technique that uses a long main line with baited hooks attached at intervals via short branch lines called snoods or gang irons. A snood is attached to the main line using a clip or swivel with the hook at the other end. Long lines are classified mainly by where they are placed in the water column. This can be at the surface or at the bottom. Lines can also be set by means of an anchor or left to drift. Hundreds or even thousands of baited hooks can hang from a single line. This can lead to many deaths of different marine species longliners, fishing vessels rigged for longlining, commonly target swordfish, tuna, halibut, sablefish, and many other species. Some key features and aspects of longliner fishing vessels. 1. Mainline and hooks. The main line is a long, often monofilament or multifilament line that can stretch for several miles. Baited hooks are attached to the main line at regular intervals. The hooks are left in the water for a certain period to attract and catch fish. 2. Baiting. Bait used on long lines can vary depending on the target species, but common choices include squid, mackerel, or other types of fish. The goal is to attract the desired fish to the baited hooks. 3. Vessel size and design. Longliner vessels can vary in size from smaller boats to large industrial scale vessels. The design of the vessel depends on the type of fishing it's intended for, the target species, and the fishing grounds. 4. Freezer capacity. Many longliners are equipped with freezing facilities on board to preserve the caught fish. This is particularly important for vessels engaged in long-distance fishing trips, where the catch needs to be stored until the vessel returns to port. 5. Satellite Technology Modern longliners often use satellite technology for navigation and communication. This technology helps them locate fishing grounds, track weather conditions, and stay in touch with other vessels. 6. Sustainability Concerns Longline fishing, if not managed properly, can have negative environmental impacts, such as bycatch of non-target species, including endangered species. There are efforts to implement sustainable fishing practices and reduce the environmental impact of longline fishing. 7. Regulations Fishing regulations and quotas are in place in many regions to manage and protect fish stocks. These regulations often include limits on the number and size of fish that can be caught, as well as measures to reduce bycatch and protect sensitive marine ecosystems. It's important to note that the fishing industry is evolving, and there are ongoing efforts to make fishing practices more sustainable and environmentally friendly. This includes advancements in technology, changes in fishing gear, and the implementation of stricter regulations to protect marine ecosystems and ensure the long-term viability of fish stocks.